you welcome on board to another informative and educative channel of your darling channel lady j channel if you are joining me for the first time you are in the right place and to my numerous subscribers i really appreciate you you are wonderful thank you for your calls hmm nature what did you know about nature that roots that back of a tree that seed that tap roots what can you do with them how can you use them when you are down or when you are in need of it what can you do with that back of a tree what can you do with that leaf that you are looking at do you have anything in mind that you can do with that leaf that you are standing in front do you know what you can do with that leaf? Do you know what you can do with that back of a tree that you are resting on? Yes, that is what we do on our channel. To open your eyes to see them, to bring it closer to you, to teach you what you can do at any particular point in time you are down, you are in need of it, either physically or spiritually. When it comes to the spiritual aspect of it, the gift of nature is there. Bad dreams, the gift of nature is there to tackle that. Spiritual bondage, spiritual causes, spiritual wounds, yes. The gift of nature are there. Many, yes. That is the blessing we receive every day from nature. So today... What am I going to be discussing about? Which of the nature am I going to be talking about? Yes. I'll be talking about Hasma Weed. Yes. I know you must have seen it this morning. Or maybe you, you, you even uproot it this morning. That this grass is disturbing me. You just uproot it and throw it away. And you are complaining about Hasma Hmm, what a mistake. Hmm. Okay, that is what we do on our channel. To teach you what you can do with that leaf, that root, that back of a tree that is going to cure and heal you. In a way, in a magical way. Yes, this is Hasma weed. Yes, Yoruba, we call it Emile. Yes. We have different types of this weed, but the difference is the rows. You can see the rows. Can you see it clearly? Because we have some that are white in color. Their rows are white in color. But if you look at this one, it is not white in color. You can see the rows clearly. Yes. How are you going to use this weed? Hmm. This miraculous weed. This wonderful and powerful weed. How are you going to use it to tackle that asthma? What is asthma? That is a condition you find yourself, your airway, find it difficult to breathe very well. Maybe tiny or whatsoever. That is asthma. So, what are you going to do with this leaf? Or, how are you going to use this leaf to tackle that asthma that has been disturbing you? I hope this is not the weed that you all put it this morning that is disturbing you. Hmm. Always check my channel. For different kinds of remedies that you can use to tackle any of your problem yes that is what we do on lady j channel to open your eyes to see it to teach you how to use it and it's going to work for you tested and trusted so how are you going to use this weight you are going to get plenty of this weed yes you can see it clearly you are going to get plenty of this leaf 
because you are going to dry it and turn it into powder yes how are you going to dry it how are you going to put it inside the sun to sun dry it or what are you going to use to dry it when you are using an herbs yes you don't put it at inside the sun most times you don't put it inside the sun you don't sun dry it not all herbs that you sun dry some you just put it in a cool place and it's going to get dry yes not all herbs not all leaves that you sun dry so likewise this you are not going to sun dry it what are you going to do just put it at one corner of your house put it in a flat tray you spread it out mm, it's going to get dry yes so after drying now turn it into powder you can use your mortar or you can even use your hand by the time it is dry you can easily do anything that you want to do with it or you use your mortar so that it will turn to powder powder so after turning to powder what else are you going to use are you going to use the all powder form no you are going to use your see tablespoon yes that is what you are going to use get a cup of water hot water a boiling water just teaspoon yes just one teaspoon add it into that boiling water just a cup a glass of water one teaspoon add it into that glass of water how many times are you going to do it you are going to use it twice in a day morning and evening that is what you are going to do am i clear should i come back again get this asthma weed yoruba call it imile dry it but don't sun dry it don't put it in the sun to dry put it at one corner in a flat tray or in a flat plate so that it will get dry easily allow it to dry on its own don't put it inside the sun after drying you turn it into powder allow it to dry very well so you turn it into powder form how are you going to be taking it get a glass cup of water hot water boiling water then your teaspoon one teaspoon you add it into it and you drink it in the morning and at night which is twice daily that is how you are going to be using it until you can tell yourself i'm okay i'm better i'm perfectly healed yes that is what we do on lady j channel to bring it closer to you to teach you what you can do how you can get it at any particular point in time you are in need of it so don't disturb yourself that leaf that you are looking at it has its own remedy yes but don't worry that is what we do on our channel to teach you to bring it closer to you more also mind the way you treat nature don't just cut them away you don't spit on nature you don't weed on nature you don't put on nature because you don't know when the needs will arise yes so the second episode is on the way if you cannot get this i hope you are going to get the second recipe so don't go away like my page share my page subscribe to my page 
your notification button press it so that anytime i upload my video you will be the first person to watch it hmm? don't go away the second recipe is on the way so